everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is my decluttering series for Let Us Eat. I do a lot of different types of videos to keep my home in check. I am a homemaker. If you are new, thank you so much for dropping by. If you just found me, I have six other decluttering videos within this series in my players list and in my description box down below for you to go and check out first so you can be updated on what we've done. I've done my TV area, my giant bookcase, my home and gardens, six cube for our shoes. We've done my dining area, and we've done two cabinets within the kitchen. We've done the spice cabinet that spills out with my baking and dishes, and then the canned goods underneath. Today we're going to declutter under the sink and get that all cleaned up and ready. These are projects I like to do twice a year to keep the home nice and clean. And I'm doing my spring cleaning now in the winter, so when March rolls around in the warmer weather, I can spend more time outdoors with my photography. Thank you so much for dropping by and checking me out. We have giveaways to announce. When we get to 1000 we're going to issue out two $20 Dollar Tree gift cards. We're also giving away a bunny from the Dollar Tree. He's about 14 inches. Super cute. We need 10 more for this bunny. Please share me to your favorite social media sites. Give this video a big thumbs up. Smash on that subscribe word. Tap on that bell. Let's go into the kitchen. That is underneath my kitchen sink. Old cabinets. We've been here 10 years. Cabinets are probably at least 20 to 30 years. Keep them as clean as I can. This is what it looks like underneath. It is out of control once again. I'm going to take everything out. I have some new bins from the Dollar Tree that I may be able to utilize under here to keep things in place and not tossed about and find better ways to keep the baggies. I'm going to start by taking everything out and then we're going to sort through everything and organize everything. Hello, my Let Us Eat family. I am taking everything out of this disorganized cabinet under my sink. And we're going to get it organized. We're going to do a little decluttering and a little bit of cleaning. And we're going to sweep it out and make sure there's no dirt or any kind of garbage thrown under here under the pipes. Some stuff in the far right hand corner. The chalk stays there because it keeps the ants away. I'm going to grab my broom to get the rest of that stuff out. Then I'm going to sweep out the cabinet here and wipe everything down. Now I've got my broom and we're going to do a good sweep under here. Get all that dirt and dust and debris out of the cabinet. I took everything out of the cabinets and I swept everything out with the broom. The broom worked really well. I got things that I couldn't reach in the very far back. I have trouble bending and getting up and down. Once I'm moving or down or up, I'm pretty good. But when you get down on the floor or bend any part way, make sure you have a plan to get up or have someone close by, especially when you're in your 50s. Now I'm going to sweep up all the debris that came out of the cabinet so I have a place to sit down. In decluttering and organizing, there's always a little bit of cleaning. And if I don't have to sit down, I'm not going to because I have a hard time getting up. And we're going to get business going here. I have this beautiful kind of pumpkin color deep bin and it fits perfectly underneath the sink here. And that is where I'm going to house all my cleaners. And then I can just pull the bucket out when I want a cleaner and not have to knock everything over and everything stays in its place. Putting everything in the bucket, if I don't like it, I have white basket that I'm also going to try under the sink. Before I do that, I'm going to wipe everything down. This is Comet Classic for kitchen cleaner. It has bleach in it. It works really well. And when I do a real deep clean on my countertops and sink, I use it. I got my Comet cleaner for the kitchen. And I'm going to scrub all these tiles in here and the pipes. There's some smudge smeared all over the pipes and I want them clean. And I'm going to do as far back as I can reach, getting all the corners and continuing wiping everything down until the area is cleaned up. I got my under the shelf riser for extra storage. It creates 50% more storage for your cabinets. And I don't really care for the pumpkin bucket because it doesn't hold that much. And I have this teal one, then I have this white basket from the Dollar Tree. 
the 50% shelf saver is from Walmart. Putting the shelf riser in first, then the white basket. Most common to the front, multiples towards the back of the cleaners, off to the side, grill tools up top. Now I'm going to sift through these baskets. This one is from Walmart as well. The skitty bins are from the Dollar Tree, the blue one. I'm going to go through all my scrubbing pots and pan sponges and Brillo pads and things that I have in here. And we're going to get them organized. Taking everything out of the baskets, sorting through them so I can organize them. I'm going to wipe the baskets clean because they got a little bit of dirt and grime in them. Just a little TLC. Get them back into shape. And I'm going to put back what I need. The sponge basket is okay now. And I'm going to put it back. We're going to look into the finished product up under my sink. 100% improvement. It's all swept out, wiped out, organized. I didn't like the pumpkin bucket there. The white one works a lot better. And I put the soap that I have multiples of towards the back. And then I'll weed it through as I use the products. I'm using the shelf riser from Walmart to create more space. So I can have the woven baskets from Walmart in there, sponges on the top, miscellaneous on the bottom, my coffee mugs on the top shelf when I travel, garbage bags, extra soap pump that we have full of soap, my husband's grill tools from the left, and then some cans that only fit up there.